this is the code for you guys to check your data and put in your variable for how long it is because it might be different from mine i'm not sure but this is the code for you guys to basically get your um your positions and all your rounding and stuff so you can get from here this is your code uh you can pause the video and this is it okay guys so i just made a program to see what the length centimeter is for each block so as you can see right now the led shows that this is around 13 centimeters um so block a position a is the first the lowest is around 13 centimeters so if we scoot it up till the end it is around 17 so we can just write it down here um position a position position a is from around 13 to 17 like this and then don't forget to add your unit okay now let's do position b so let's push it up here to the end it's around 22 so we can just say b 22 2 it's good up to the far side and it's um around 25 26 but i'll just presume it's 25 and then cm okay now c c is right here so 32 it's around 32 so c 32 flash then pull back all the way here um, around 35 so 35 cm okay there we go uh now we have to presume from like the end of here to back here so uh, i'm gonna make it go down more i'm gonna round it so 13 will be round to wait oh 13 will be round to 10 and then 35 will be rounded to 40. so the total length of this field is around 40 centimeters and um now these are like exact stuff so we got to round them too so position a will um, align to be 10 and around 19 then position b will be 25 to 20, 22 to 25 will be hmm uh 19 to 29 i'm just presuming everything or you can make this 20 and make this 30 i'll just do that 20 30 okay okay like this um now c is 32 35 so it's obvious 40 and 30 we left off as 30 so like this and let's cross this out make it 20. okay now that's all my field let me make it more clear so position a is 10 to 20 centimeters position b is 22 to 25 centimeters and position c is 32 30 oh geez I put the wrong one how clumsy am i okay so it's like this and this is a zero and this is a 30 okay like this and all the field is um 10 to 40 centimeters so this is the all the keys you hear so you guys might be able to use it and yeah that's it okay guys so uh this is m01 i'm just gonna brief in, in brief overview not code yet but it's just like what your robot's gonna do so the first step is to come over here and stop at this intersection. The next step is to come all the way here until your back wheel is uh, parallel, like the middle of the black wheel is parallel to the 
um, line over here. Then you guys turn until the, what is it called? This is straight at 90 degrees from where it was. And then you get the, get the um, data and then put it, store it in your variable. Then your next step is to turn until it's back to the same road again. You walk, you basically run till here and then stop again. Then you put your wheel to parallel again. And the next step is to turn like this until you're 90 degrees from where you were to the, to the left and you get your data. Then look at these categories of what you already noted down is in the A, B, C, and it needs to be in the all. So there's conditions. So if your uh, data is in the all, which means that it's the robot didn't scan just random anything, then it goes into these categories, which is more specific. The A category is the first category, the B category is the second, and the C category is the third. So uh, if it's right here, it should go in the A category, and your robot will have like another, um, already another, like how much it's supposed to walk if it's in the A category, so it can be exact on here. So like this and that. And yeah, that's M01. So guys, this is like the code. It's a really basic code, so um, it's not that accurate, but it still works on our map. But uh, the problem is that you guys need to change the, um, what's it called? The data in here, or what do we call it? The variables in here, like these stuff. You have to change it, cause I didn't put in exact stuff. I just put in stuff that I think would um, be like, okay. So you guys you need to change it a little, but the code is all the same. And so let me explain the main juicy key first. So this is basically run on line, which is what it sounds like. It's the robot is running on the white line. So first you initialize the RGB line follower. You need to uh, add that in the extensions. It's right here. And you need to do this one or whatever number you want. And just look at the port. Then you just put your port in here. The second one is just showing like what the color of your um, thing is, which is not really important, but you can just choose whatever favorite color you have. And the RVG line follower, this one is setting sen sensitivity, which is sensing like how sensitive it is. So like if it's not that sensitive, then it just like doesn't really get it. But if it's like super highly sensitive, then it sees every single morsel. The bad thing about being too high is it might pick up on random colors, so yeah. Now this le left wheel turn thing is um, basically when the robot turns or somewhere, it will um, immediately take all that down. And when the robot needs to turn back, they just put uh, the, the variable back in and then the robot will turn to exact spot where it was last time. And th yeah, that's run online. I'll show you it like this like this you add your differential speed which is like how different the motors are turning and your power how fast you're going this is for left wheel is add and for right wheel it is um minus so here's the actual code first you reset timer because there's a little trimming on the edge which is white so it might confuse your robot so you reset your timer and then you put a repeat until block here and then put an and block so we there's two conditions it needs to work under first it needs to go to zero 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 which is that intersection right there right before it turns and the timer needs to be more than one second so it doesn't get confused on the red trimming and put the run on line in there so it run lines until that much then after it sees the zero 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 which is all white it moves forward just a little bit so then the wheel is parallel to the line. Then it turns left and until it's facing 
the block, then it um scans it. Uh, then it's wait, then it scans, then it scans it, and basically. Okay, guys, they just um put the link wrong. <laughs> it's legged. Okay, so yeah, screw that. <laughs> okay, now after that, you scan and you put in your link, legged. Um, you turn right to go back to the line where you were, and then you reset your timer, and then do the same thing. You can control C from here. You can control C, control V, like right here. This, um, and then you can just put it back in, and just put it here. Then you do the same thing all over again. And here's a little complicated part. This is like the conditions. So the first condition your um, data needs to pass through is is it um is it is your length more than 10 and less than 40 if it is then it's going to go more specific so the position one is is your length more than 10 and less than 20 or position two is is your length more than 20 and less than 30 and position three is is your length more than 30 and less than 40 so your length it needs to go in one of these categories if it passed this one. So basically, you have to, it just goes in. And then in here, you set how far you want your robot to move if it's like this condition. So if it's this one, then you want your robot to move exactly. So you would say, move this much seconds or this much or this much, whatever. So yeah, these is your basic code after it's after that, it stops moving and plays a C4 note.